Foster, cause sexy owl. Post fight thoughts, let's go. Push the weight in our flex. Flex the live is one in the six. If it's the runner boy, you niggas no question. You ain't run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boo. I mean, they woke up, drink blood, things out. Full moon, motherfucker. Change like a hoe, brother. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty LDBC. Uh, Foster versus Consexiao. Part two, post fight thoughts. Um, well, it was, uh, to me, a little more aggression from uh, uh, the good brother, uh, Shaki Foster. Shout out to him. He won tonight. They got it right. Uh, split decision. I did score at 115, 113 for him. Uh, there were some spots where I wanted to see him pick up the pace, but um, it was uh, what, what you got to understand is Robeson is a uh, he's what I call a spoiler. Um, he will not allow you to get things off uh, uh, um, in that ring and he will make it ugly he, he turns into an octopus he'll grab you grapple you and um somewhere like i think around round seven the fatigue set in his hands were down not because he was um he felt comfortable defensively he was tired and if you ever a uh, box before like when when you're tired it gets insanely difficult for you to even hold your arms up so you know i understand what he was what he was doing he's trying to play it off um he was hurt uh towards the end of round 10 uh um but shocky hit him with a right hand over the top wobbled him um i would like to have seen oshaki cut the ring off a little better um he was walking him down which was a good thing that played in on the uh, judge's decision so i guess as far as ring generalship was concerned, um, you had to give it to Oshaki this time. He was walking him down. He was waiting for Kosesiao to uh, come to him. Um, he walked him down. So ring generalship, they had down packed. I'm really thinking that they focused on that. Um, every fight is dangerous, but late in the fight, as Robeson uh, fatigued, um, it looked like he was just slapping his punches and just trying to score points. So um, he was, there was parts where he was putting in a lot of work throwing a lot of punches and bunches, but they weren't really landing. And if one slipped through, there was absolutely no power on them at all. Um, so Shaki, uh, again, you know, he didn't fight the perfect fight, but in Oshaki's defense, Robeson is just a spoiler. You know, you get close, he grabs you, he leaned on you. He's a little taller than Oshaki, so he leaned on him. And Shaki was really trying to uh, 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 close the show, so I give him a lot of credit. Um, I thought he did enough to win the first fight. So I thought he did enough to uh, win this fight. Uh, but, you know, it's boxing. And um, when, uh, when they read the first card, um, I was like, okay. Then they read the second card, I'm like, here we go. And I was just nervous for him because, you know, if they did it to him once, they would definitely do it again. Um, but they didn't. Um, they got it right. Um, well, they, they may be a rubber match. I don't know. Um, if the rubber match looks like this, Oshaki's going to win again. So I didn't see the post fight. I was actually busy. I didn't see if he called anybody out. Y'all let me know in the comments section. Uh, but um, he um, he got the job done. He got the job done and uh, it's easier when you're sitting at home saying yo man get on him get on him get on him um but every time he got close Robeson just tied him up and grabbed him and that's what his corner told him to do if i'm not mistaken they uh they were translating from brazilian or portuguese uh in, in that corner and the, the trainer said tie him up that's what he told him to do so it, at least we do know that Robeson does listen to his corner because if that's what was said um, to tie him up so he tied him up um but his offense wasn't really that good uh defense uh not really that great but he's like i said he's a spoiler the guy's a spoiler and um he faded late in the fight uh if they do fight in a rubber match you know um 
if Oshak can avoid it, just avoid it, man. Because it's going to look the same way. This guy can't hurt you. Um, he can make it ugly. Um, but you don't want to put yourself in that position again, man. So if you can move around and face the other top dogs in the division, then do so. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to see Oshaki get some uh, uh, bigger paydays. Uh, when I say bigger paydays, again, I'm not a money guy. I'm not in these guys' pockets. When I say bigger paydays, that means um, they'll get fights, mainstream fights, where uh, the casuals will begin to know him more. So when I say major paydays, bigger paydays, that's what I mean. Get into the casual fan's eye. I would definitely like to see that for the brother Oshaki Foster. He's a mod on my channel. Shout out to Oshaki. I'll holler at him soon, man. Um, good win. Uh, shout out to you, brother. And uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, I like to see uh, him move around and uh, 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 get more uh, notable fights. I really would like to see it, man. So salute to Oshaki and salute the ropes. I mean, he did the best you could, man. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all think. Bronx on deck. Move!